Let's start on Micro Project 9. Micro Project 9 involves creating three web banner ads that would go on a website. And you're going to be creating these for an imaginary client named Fresh Air Air Conditioners. The examples here have everything that needs to be on the ad, some sort of an image, um, background image, the slogan or headline saying keeping cool as a breeze, a call to action, which is this green button on my example, get cool now, and then a logo type. So the company doesn't currently have a logo. The expectation isn't that you're going to spend a lot of time creating a logo, but something that is functional and that will work uh, preferably all typographic. So the um, three ad sizes are here. The dimensions are in pixels. You want to make sure that this is, since this is for web, it's RGB color mode, 72 PPI resolution. resolution. And it says here that you need to use Illustrator and use the built-in template document called banner ads. Now, ultimately what you're going to be submitting are just going to be three JPEG images that have the correct pixel dimensions. So um, you can create these ads either in Illustrator or in Photoshop or in some combination of the two. So ultimately, even though it says you should use Illustrator's built-in template document, um, you can create them any way you want as long as the pixel dimensions for each ad are correct. But what I'm going to demonstrate is a suggested workflow which uses a combination of Photoshop and Illustrator because Photoshop is great for working with photos and for me at least it's not so intuitive when it comes to working with type and Illustrator is best with working with type and flat uh, vector graphics. So let's open up Photoshop. I already have Photoshop open. And let's go to File, New, choose Web. And then under Templates, if we scroll down, you should have a access to modern web banner layouts. And actually, you probably need to click on this and um, download this. It is available for free, and I already have mine checked. So let's go ahead and choose that. Now, if for some reason you're not able to um, have access to this template, it's not a big deal. Again, you can just create a... Uh, you can just create a Photoshop document with the correct pixel dimensions for each ad. So the template that I'm going to be working with has four artboards. And the uh, pixel dimensions are here. And they're very similar to the pixel dimensions that are required for Micro Project 9. Um, we don't need this one, so we can just go ahead and delete that. We need one that's 728 by 90, so we already have one that's 728 by 90. We need one that's 160 by 600, and we already have one that is 160 by 600, and then we need one that's 250 by 250. So the one that's uh, currently included is 300 by 250, so we need to edit this artboard and change the dimensions. So if you have a new version of Photoshop, you do have these artboards. Again, if you're working with an older version of Photoshop, um, you may not have this tool available, and then again, you can simply create individual documents that are the correct pixel dimensions. But if I click and I hold on this Move tool, I under the pop-up menu there's an artboard tool so when I select that and I have the artboard selected that I want to edit I see the width and height up here in the options menu 
and I just need to, um, which one am I editing here? Oh, this is the one I'm editing, so let me choose that. Right, okay, so this one is 300 by 250, and what I need to do is just change the width to 250. Okay, and then if you are using this particular template, all the stuff that's already populated on these artboards, you can just you can just delete that stuff. We don't need any of it. All we're doing is we're in Photoshop is we're going to place our images, our background images on these artboards. So I just want my artboards empty for now. And I'm going to change just um, so I'm not getting confused here. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this artboard to reflect the dimensions that I typed in. All right, so we've got three artboards, um, the correct pixel dimensions that we need for our ads. Now I'm going to open my image. So I did already choose an image from Pixabay and I've downloaded that to a folder. And I'm just going to, that opens up in a tab. So I'm just gonna pull that tab away so that it becomes a floating window. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drag that over onto um, my Photoshop document and it drags onto the artboard that I had last selected. So you can see it's really large here and I'm going to go ahead and just resize this a bit. And I could zoom in if I want just to get a better sense of what I'm doing here. Okay, so how you position and size your image just depends on you know your sense of aesthetics and your particular image but um, since this is for fresh air air conditioners and we're trying to get a sense of um, you know mountain freshness or whatever uh, I just want to make sure that I uh, since this is going to be used as a background I want to make sure that this is recognizable as mountains and I see some snow and some sky back here all right, so now what I could do to get this image onto the other um, onto the other artboards is I can go ahead and um, choose, uh, hold the Option key, click and drag my image in the Layers panel, and it makes a copy onto the new uh, onto the next artboard, and I'll do the same thing again oops and I actually didn't copy that okay so now I have this image on all three artboards and I want to customize this um, for each layout so I might want to reposition and resize this depending on the particular dimensions let me get this layers panel out of the way depending on the particular dimensions of my artboard. All right, so it could be a little bit tricky. There's some compromises that you have to make when you're um, using the same image across different, uh, drastically different proportions. So, but I wanna make sure, you know, the most important thing for me is to make sure that, that um, the image is going to have enough uh, detail of these mountains that they're recognizable. All right, so when you're happy with the size and positioning of all three of these, then we are going to use this as a background and we need to make sure that our type is readable on top of it. So what I would uh, prefer to do is to use the fill or opacity. They'll really do the same thing. Um, and let's just make this 20%. I mean, you may, may need to go lighter or darker depending on your particular image, but um, generally 20% is going to be 
pretty safe because I, I really I want to be able to still see the image but I it's very important that the type is readable especially on uh, maybe a small screen since this is going to be viewed on the web all right so when you're happy with that then what we can do is um, you probably want to save this first all right so you just save this in case you need to go back to it for some reason and make some adjustments so it doesn't really matter what you call it uh, we'll call this micro 09 um, backgrounds okay and then what we want to do is we want to save each artboard as its own separate image. So let's go to File, Export, Artboards to Files, um, Artboard Content Only, File Type is JPEG. Let's browse and make sure we're in the correct folder. So I'm already in my destination folder and I'm just going to choose Open and Run. All right, so now when I go to my, my project folder, I've got my three background JPEGs sitting waiting for me.